Frederick Gauss, a mathematician so important to maths that my math teacher keeps a photo of him in her wallet, said, upon learning the true gender of Sophie Germain. Germain was the first woman to be awarded the grand prize from the Paris Académie des Sciences for her work in elasticity, and took groundbreaking steps towards a proof to Fermat's last theorem, a maths problem so difficult that it took mathematicians over 300 years to solve. But it's not the maths problem she tackled, nor the puzzle she conquered that makes Germain a hero. To understand what does, we need to go back in time. We're in Paris in the 1780s. The Bastille has just fallen. Sophie Germain is 13 years old. Given the revolutionary mood of the city, she's forced to stay indoors. Looking for something to entertain herself, Sophie stumbled across L'Histoire de Mathematique in which she finds the story of the death of Archimedes. Archimedes was killed by a Roman soldier after refusing to leave his maths work, engrossed by it. Sophie figured something that fascinating must be worth studying. And study she did! She pored over every book in her father's library on mathematics that she could find, even teaching herself Latin and Greek so that she could read the works of Newton and Euler. However, her parents did not approve of this newfound interest, thinking it inappropriate for a woman to study maths and physics. They denied her warm clothes and a fire for her bedroom overnight to try and keep her from studying. But Sophie persisted, sneaking in candles and warm quilts to keep her warm. It's said that it was so cold overnight that the ink in her pot froze as she studied. Jemma was unable to attend university as a woman, but submitted her work under the false male name Monsieur Leblanc quoted as saying she feared the ridicule attached to a female scientist. It was under this male pseudonym that she corresponded with Gauss. It's not her progress in elasticity or her work on number theory or the awards she won or heck were named after her that makes Sophie Germain a hero. It's her incredible drive in spite of all the adversity she faced as a woman in science in the 19th century.